friends and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Kate. Here on this channel we talk about mom life. We talk about foster care and adoption as I am a foster mom and caring for vulnerable children is something I am deeply passionate about. And we also talk about intentional living and living your best life, living with purpose. So if any of that interests you, I would love to have you subscribe and join the community here on YouTube. So today's video is going to be what's in my diaper bag. I did a video a while back, what's in my foster care diaper bag as far as what I pack for visits, but this is what is in my diaper bag right now. Now my youngest just turned one and then my older daughters are five and six. So this might be a little bit different, but let's talk about the diaper bag first. I have two, I have like a leather, nicer, small backpack that I use. If I'm going to church or going somewhere nice, well, not always, I use this for church a lot too. But if I'm going somewhere nice and I want something a little bit nicer, but this is my tried and true, you can beat this thing up, I throw it in the washing machine, it lasts. If you haven't seen these, they were, you know, in the last year or so advertised all over Amazon. You can get it off Amazon. I love it. I'll leave the link down below if you're interested. There's a whole bunch of different brands. Mine is the Bebe Wink, but I just have a basic black. But let me just show you, if you haven't seen these diaper bags, the features of them. So the first thing is, it is got like wire in here, so it opens up to be a nice rectangular open. So you can easily find things in there. Probably my most favorite feature about it. And then when you zip it closed, it's nice and narrow at the top here. It's got handles for carrying like this, but also has backpack straps. Now, another cool feature about this is it has this little secret pouch, I call it, in the back. When things fall, you know, especially in backpack style diaper bags, when things fall to the bottom, it's like an endless pit and you just, you can't seem to find things. So this has this handy little zipper in the back that you can access the bottom. Love it, especially you know if something's leaked in there or something, it's really easy to access like that. It also has two side pockets. It's, currently I have one sock in there. It also has two side pockets. I usually put a sippy cup or something in there. What else is in there? I got the other sock. Hand sanitizer. And then this side is actually designed for wipes. So you just put your wipe package right in there and you can access the wipes right by pulling through, which I think is a really cool feature. Especially, I've done this a lot when it's on my back and I just reach back and grab a wipe one-handed. But also has this little front pocket and in here it has insulated pouches for bottles. Rosie only drinks bottles before nap time so I rarely bring them with me, but this is where I will keep um, sippy cups or food. Now, if you have a wider base bottle, that's the one negative I would say about this, is that it definitely fits um, taller get that lid on it definitely fits taller skinnier bottles so I will use the sippy cups in here that is about as big as the sippy cup that you can get in there it has this little mesh pouch here where you can keep snacks and stuff so it's nice to have a separate bag where you can keep food and drinks so if anything spills so that is the diaper bag in a nutshell so let's talk about what is in it so the first thing I always keep in it is a pair of little shoes for Rosie she's not quite walking yet but we need shoes when we're out and about but I just find she's like at the stage where she's pulling one off in the car and then we're losing them. And then I have her other shoes in her drawer. So depending on what I'm putting on her that day, but I know I can just quickly put her in the car if we're in a rush and I have a pair of shoes for her in the bag. Next, I keep diaper cream. This one is a little bit big. I, they, these do come in smaller sizes. Um, right now Rosie's teething and she's got a teething rash. So we're currently not using cloth diapers at the moment uh, because I just find one, teething poops are just really messy and gross, and two, she's getting a rash that I can't use like regular um, zinc barrier creams on that the natural creams just aren't helping so much. So when my kids are teething, I usually switch to disposables until that teething rash, that teething poo is gone. So we've got a couple diapers in here, of course wipes, a little change mat, I also always carry with me a little muslin swaddle. Rosie's not really at the stage where she's using them all that much anymore, but it's always good to have. You never know when you're gonna need this, even if it's just to wipe up a spill or whatever. Always carry one of these when I'm traveling with a baby. Next, I keep a spare change of clothes. Just, just for the baby, my older girls are past the stage of like having accidents or anything like that, so I don't really find that I need to, need to bring change of clothes for them. Of course, if we're out, I'm gonna be out all day, I would pack this a lot differently. But this is just, you know, how I regularly pack it when I'm just running out and about doing errands, you know, shorter trips. So a spare change of clothes for Miss Rosie. You never know what can happen with her. I also put a couple hats in here for the girls. You just never know when you're going to need a hat. I never showed you the inside of the bag. So they also have this little zipper pocket. So I'll keep my phone. Oh, now I have some gum in there. Anything of mine. 
Um, it's got a lot bigger pockets on the inside, so if you do have bigger bottles that don't fit in the front, they're not insulated, but they are at least separated. It'll keep them upright, so there's two big ones on the side here, and then two other ones in the back, or I guess that's the front. It also has the little hoops on the back, if you have those little stroller clips that you can clip it right to the stroller. It also has this little strap on the inside that you can hook your keys to. Very rarely use this, but cool option to have. Material wipes really well, it's really easy to clean. Anyways, is that all I have in there? Yes. So the shoes, the wipes. I also always carry one of these little snack cups for Rosie. It's just got some yogurt melts and some cookies in there for her. I usually throw a piece of fruit or something else in there with it, but that's her little snack container goes on top. Three sippy cups. This one is too big to fit in that front pocket. I make sure I do, so I'll just throw it in one of the side ones here, but I always have three sippy cups because I have three girls. This little pouch is just a little first aid kit. I just keep band-aids, sunscreen, um, and bug spray little ones of those in there. And little alcohol swabs, things like that. And the last thing I carry is a couple little coloring books and markers little pencil case full of markers. I don't like my girls to be on my phone or on my tablet all the time if we are out somewhere where we have to be waiting. So a little coloring book goes a long way. I just have the small little ones and they fit in there very nicely. So obviously I throw my wallet, uh, keys, cell phone in there as well. But there you have it. That is what I have in my diaper bag. Let me know what you carry in your diaper bag. I don't know if you think that's excessive or you think that's not enough, but that is what I carry day to day. Like I said, if I'm going somewhere fancy just out for a quick dinner, sometimes I just bring my smaller leather nicer backpack than this, you know, one. But this thing is huge and I can fit so much like, you can have it so it's opened all the way here. I can fit so much more in there still. There's still lots of room. But this is a very handy dandy backpack. Again, I'll leave it linked on Amazon. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing what is in my diaper bag. At this stage of my life, I am just more about functionality. As you guys know, I'm on a minimalism journey and I'm just trying to keep things as minimal as possible. So I have that one. That's my rough and tumble, can wash, it comes everywhere with me kind of bag. Then I have a smaller one if I'm going somewhere nicer or just like a short trip or I just have the baby that I'll bring that. Sometimes it's just a nice um, black backpack style little bag that you can use as even a purse and then I also have a large like Kate Spade one if I'm going somewhere you know fancier but I need more space I have that that I can use as well and those are really the only three bags I have I have one other small bag that I use as a purse but my minimalism journey has brought me down to that I have a crossbody like bigger one if we're going more overnight that sort of thing that I will use as well as this um, but that's if I'm packing, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff for the kids as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you keep in your diaper bag. Let me know if you think what I have is excessive or not enough. Um, I'm interested to see what other moms do and what they carry around. I think you can never be too safe. You know, extra diapers, lots of water, or at least the containers to hold the water. Sunscreen, bug spray, and band-aids when you're out and about in the summer. Kids are always getting little scrapes and stuff, so it's great to carry around a little first aid kit with some alcohol wipes in there as well. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!